Let's start by taking a look at what floats and what sinks. And to do that, we're going to need our big tank of water. But first, Heidi, Polly, would you like to play a guessing game? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Oh, I love a good guessing game. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to guess which of these three things is the heaviest and which is the lightest, but you can't touch them, okay? Yeah. Heidi, you first. Hmm. I definitely think that the brick is the heaviest. Mm -hmm. And what about, what about the wood? I think that's the second. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the lightest. I think that's the lightest, okay. Heidi, can you lift up the spoon? Yeah. What do you think? It's quite heavy. I thought that it would be very light. Yeah, look heavier than it looks. I know. Things aren't always what they seem. And do you want to lift up the wood? The spoon is heavier than the wood, actually. Oh, is it? Really? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Very good. Do you want to try the brick? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be very heavy. Yeah. That's because it's made of foam. The brick is made of foam. <laughs> I thought that's really odd because the smallest thing was probably the heaviest and the biggest thing was the lightest. Exactly, yeah. Zoom. Things aren't always as heavy or light as they appear. And that's because of something called density. Density? Mm -mm. What's that, Kira? Dense. Density. 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 <laughs> Density. <laughs> Great. Let me explain. Everything is made up of tiny bits. The spoon is made up of metal and it's made up of tiny bits that are squeezed really close together. So we say that it's very dense. This big block is made of foam. So the tiny bits have a lot more space between them. So we say that it's not very dense. Oh, well, what about that one? This is made of wood which is less dense than the metal, but more dense than the foam. And for something to float, it has to be less dense than water. So let's check that out. Heidi, Polly, can you put each of these things into the tank? And we'll see which one will float and which one will sink. Mm. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah? Well, we start with the spoon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to come over closer? So. Okay. And go. <gasps> oh, oh, it sank. Yes. On one, two, three. Oh. oh! Wow! Now, what did you think? Did you think that was going to float? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Will we do the brick? Okay. Our okay, brick. let's see. It looks heavy. I'll make a bit of room. Whoa, you're so strong! You are so strong. Look at you! <gasps> wow! Oh, thanks, Polly. Oh, I'll give you a Super hand. Human. Okay, we're ready. One, two, three. Oh! Whoa! It floats! <gasps> the metal spoon sank, but the foam block and the piece of wood are floating. That's right. If something is less dense than water, it will float. And if something is more dense than water, it will sink. So, Kira, the metal is more dense than water, and foam and wood are less dense than water. Correct. Ah. Uh, Kira. Yes, Sue? I wonder, am I more dense than water? Hmm, let's not find that out, Sue. <laughs> 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 Your lovely fur would take ages oh. to dry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. Mark, I have a question. Okay, Zoom. What is it? Wood is less dense than water. Yes. And some boats are made of wood. Yes. Metal is more dense than water. Yes. But some boats are made of metal. So how come they're able to float? It's a great question, Zoom. You see, there are many reasons why things float, and one of them is their shape. Let me show you. Okay, Heidi and Polly, I'm going to scrunch this metal foil up into a ball shape, okay? Ugh, good yeah. scrunching. Why, thank you, Zoom. Mm -hmm. Nice and tight like that. Now, I'm going to drop it into the water. Okay. And we're going to see what happens. Hmm. What do you think is going to happen? I think it's going to sink. Okay. I what think it's going to float because it's so small. Okay. I think it's going to float. Okay. Yeah. Well, then let's find out. That's because it's made of a metal called aluminium, which is more dense than water. Okay, hide in Polly. Now, you're gonna have a sheet of foil each, and this time, we're gonna turn them into boat shapes and see what happens. Uh, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Make your boat. Really good. Perfect. Bending me easily. 
Oh, excellent. Oh, that looks nice. I wonder should we decorate them. Ah, oh, well, there's one for you. Thank you. All right. Holly, you're going to have a red colour. There. That looks great. All right. Perfect. Let's test our metal boats. Now remember, this is exactly the same amount of metal as this. Oh. Okay. What do you think is going to happen, guys? I think it's going to float. Think it's going to float? Oh. What do you think is going to happen? I think it's going to float. Okay. What do you think, soon? I don't know. I think it might sink because the other thing sank as well, didn't it? All right. Yeah. Well, let's find out. And it's much bigger. Pop them in, guys. Wow! Yeah, you can put yours in as well. Look at this. Yes, look at that. Like they're floating. But, but why did the scrunched up ball sink and the boat float? Because the boat shape pushes more water out of the way than the ball shape. Oh, and the more water you can push out of the way, the better chance you have of floating. 